Hey everyone, Chelsea Beauty here, and today I've got a manicure that's out of this world. I know it was pretty cheesy, but I was inspired by Little Box of Horrors, X-Files theme, and so I thought to put my own spin on it. So let's get started. I used Maniology's Empire Club. This is a stamping polish, but I decided to use one coat for my pinky because I'm gonna be placing some lime glitter over this. Once my polish is completely dried, I'm going to then put my Sticky Base Coat by Maniology on my nail. Wait about 45 seconds to a minute, as I usually do, just so that it's the right amount of tackiness. And then as you can see here, I then got a Twinkle Tea Lime Colored Glitter, and I'm just going to gently stick my pinky into the pot. No one else is using this glitter, so it's just me, and my hands are clean, so it's totally fine. After that, I'm gonna take a cleanup brush and just kind of like dust away around into the crevices just so that the glitter can be, you know, cleared from my finger. After I'm done cleaning out the crevices, I will then use a larger, fluffier brush just to dust off the excess glitters. After everything is cleaned up, I'm gonna then place a glitter smoothing top coat onto my nail just so that it can smooth all the glitters out. On my ring finger, I decided to go with She's a Maniac by Chana Glaze. This was from their My Little Pony collection. Now, I did do three coats with this. It does have a little bit of a slight shimmer that's running throughout it. I thought it was really pretty. It does dry down to a semi-matte formulation, and I mainly went after this polish along with the green one because of the next polish. I did two coats of Lemming Lacquer's Void Walker on my index and middle finger, and I have to say, this is such a beautiful polish. This was from the polish pickup for last November, which was a gaming theme, and this is absolutely stunning. This purple polish has like these little pink and purple shimmers, and then it looks what to be like multi-chrome flakies, but they have like this lime green hue to it. It was just absolutely stunning, and I had to get this. On my ring finger, I'm gonna place Essie's Mad About You on the nail just to make sure that it is super matte before I put any type of chrome powder down on my nail. Now before I'm stamping, I'm gonna place my cuticula nail tape. This does contain latex around my nail because I'm gonna be placing down a full size image. The same plate I'll be using today is gonna to be the BM P102 plate. This is no longer available, but you may be able to find it in a D stash. The stampy polish I'll be using for all of my outlining today is gonna to be with my Straight Up Black by Maniology. I went after this circle image and unfortunately forgot to hit the record button to actually watch me put it on my finger. But once I placed that down, I quickly went after my silhouette, which is a blue dual chrome powder. And basically, as you can see here, I'm just kind of like buffing it into the nail. After I dust it off, I'm gonna go in then with my smudge free top coat because this is a water-based top coat so it will not actually remove that chrome powder finish. Now I wasn't done with my ring finger and I really wanted to use this alien from the same plate. So I wanted to do some reverse decaling or reverse stamping. So I colored him in with Empire Club again. Now you could use Maniology's Food Fight and it's a very similar close like bright electric green. So that would totally work out fine. Now I'm gonna set it to the side, let it dry completely. And when it's about to be ready to be placed on my finger, I then go in with my sticky base coat just to make sure that there's some tackiness. And then I can go ahead and place my my alien down. Now I do want to state that I actually redid this nail because the fact that the alien was not fully centered and it drove me crazy so that's why my photos look different. The other plate that I decided to use was the Teenage Dream BM P104 plate which is from the same collection. This has more space oriented things and so I went after these images of these little alien spaceships with the planets. Now, I don't need the other stuff. I really just wanted the alien spaceships because this is really an alien themed manicure. So that's what I was going after. So I'm gonna use Fuchsia Flame for some reverse stamping. And so I went in to kind of color in, I don't know what these are. I guess it's supposed to be like the main ring part. And then I go back in with Empire Club just to kind of fill it in because I really want that pink and lime green effect to be on top of the purple nail to really make it pop. So I'm gonna do the same thing like I did with the Alien. I'm gonna set it to the side, let it fully dry. And then when I'm ready to stamp, I'm gonna put my sticky base coat down on my nail 
get it ready to place the stamp, and then I have to carefully place the spaceships down where the other one doesn't try to place itself down at a weird funky angle, and then I can go back and place it where I want it. Now, I'm still not done with the snail. I go back in again with Fuchsia Flame, and I'm gonna go after these stars. Now, the only thing is I have to double stamp them because the pink was not as poppy as what I thought it would be. So in that case, then I just kind of, you know, did a double stamp technique and then it worked perfectly fine. Once everything was completely dried, I can then go in with my smudge-free top coat just to make sure that everything is fine and nothing smears because remember, I did use the straight up black for my outlining, so I just don't want it to smear when I put my regular top coat on. Once my smudge tree is completely dry, I go in with my favorite top coat by Super Shiga Lacquer. You can use whatever you like. I just like the fact that the good wear time and they leave my nails super shiny and pretty durable. Now, I do have to say though, when you're working specifically with chrome powders, they can get into tight crevices. So I like to kind of like encapsulate my whole entire finger and I will even sometimes put the top coat on my skin, but then afterward go in with a cleanup brush with 100% acetone and clean up the sides just to make sure that everything is sealed in nice and there's no issues. Everything that I used, I will list down below, especially if I can find it, but I am curious. Did you like this mini? Are you going to recreate it? If you watched the full video, leave me an alien emoji in the comments. I love seeing your responses. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. I have some playlists you can check out at the end of the video. Until then, take care and stay chilly.